What's up, y'all? Welcome to Story Time, Part Two. Now, as we left off from the last one, I mean, if you didn't watch the first one, I don't know why you watched the second one before the first one. But regardless, uh, we left off when Coach told us that it's over for us. Between that day and conditioning, we had about three weeks. He told us to do two things within those three weeks. That was to get to know our professors, let them know who we are, and number two is to bond with our teammates. Those were our plans, and I mean, I, I followed that rules, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make teams, so I had to do what I had to do. So I had five classes my first semester of my freshman year. I had biology, psychology, an intro to business, and a lit class, and university and university is something that all freshmen and transfers have to take coming from high school when i had a 3.6 gpa but college was a whole nother animal yeah college is a whole nother animal so i got the school thing down trying to get closer to my professors and let them know who i am and that i'm trying i'm gonna try hard in that class just you know sometimes you gotta work with your boy work with you now hanging out bonding with our teammates as i said in the last one me and other freshmen really bonded together uh, my main guy, call, I'm, I don't know what to call him because I mean, like, if I if I call him on the phone, he'll let me use his name. But I'm not gonna use his name because I'm not using any el no anyone else's real name. So I'm gonna call him Z. Don't know why I'm calling him Z. You're probably gonna meet him later on. He gonna ask me why he called why I called him Z. I don't know why. I'm gonna call him Z. And then the other two freshmen. One was he was light skinned, tall and skinny. He's from Canada. He had moved down to Florida. We we'll call him Canada. I was, he was a funny dude, he was an interesting character. And the other freshman was the exact opposite of him. He was he had a darker skin complexion. He was big, like he was built. But he was also from Florida. I'm just gonna call him Rollo. Don't know why. Don't ask me where I'm getting these names from. I'm just gonna call him that. Those are my people that was my crew. I hung out with the freshmen. Then um, Rollo and Z, they were also roommates with the grad assistant. So I was with the grad assistant a lot of times too. And it wasn't like we were just well, actually, he did kind of hang out. He was a cool dude, but he put us on, you know, academically where to go to get tutoring help. He offered his help whenever we needed it. He would make us work out. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't optional. It was mandatory. Even though we couldn't run fives yet, we could work out individually in the well in the wellness center or in the main gym. He made sure we worked out as freshmen. Yeah, no choice. Or so, me and Z. <laughs> than the other two freshmen because he, he's a guard so he knows better to teach guards I mean he wouldn't mind teaching other big men but he'd rather teach guards so we had no choice like he would knock on the door six in the morning trying to you know prepare us for conditioning but letting us know hey get up we better go work out I didn't really hang out with the upperclassmen like that I knew the upperclassmen and the transfers but I didn't we didn't really hang out like that except for one my guy I'm gonna call him Jay I mean that's what we called him anyways but that was that was our guy the weekend before conditioning on Monday, did not go to sleep Friday, did not go to sleep Saturday, did not go to sleep Sunday. I stood up all night just thinking about conditioning and like, bro, what is he going to do? What are we going to do? I don't know. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to do, y'all. I'm lying, bro. I ain't ready for all this. I ain't asked for all this because high school conditioning was nothing. I remember my brother told me about school you went to in Mississippi, the air conditioning, and that sounded terrible. And I was like, is it gonna be like that? Oh no, brother, I ain't ready for all that. Well, you ain't had no choice, sucker. So then, you know, I finally drift off at the gracious time of 3.45 a.m. And then my alarm goes off at 4.30 a.m. Cause conditioning started at five. That's tough, that's tough, that's, hard. that's tough. So I'm like, dang, and we had to be there 15 minutes before. I'm walking out there in my flip-flops, and I got my basketball shoes in my bag. I'm like, we about to run in this gym. So I finally get to the gym, and I'm looking. It's pitch black out here. There's like two street lights out there in the gym parking lot. And I'm like, like we're not going inside? Gratison's was like, nah, coach, want y'all chill right here. I'm sitting here. I'm talking to my man Z. I'm nervous. Z's like, bro, I don't know what we going to do. And I'm like, bro, I don't know what we going to do, bro, but... I'm ready for it, yeah. Stop the cap and stop the line. So then, coach pull up. He, uh, y'all ready? Everybody was like, yes, sir. Stop. And he was like, all right, now this is what we're going to do. We're going to run five miles. And, like, everybody was like, dang, five miles. I'm like, my head. Long distance never bothered me. So I'm like, five miles? Oh, that's cake work. 
And some of them are my spot today. That's Kate. Yeah. Man, I thought there was a track. Ain't no track. That man had the assistant coach drive all the way down a long road. Like, it's a long, long road. He told him to park and turn his lights on. So when we get down to that point, they tell us to turn around and we run back towards the gym. We start from the gym parking lot. Yo, that man blew that whistle. Everybody take off. By the way, you ever run long distance, never sprint the first part. I don't know who they were trying to fool. They sprinted the first part and tired themselves out before they even reached the assistant coach's car. Especially if you don't have to come in at a certain time. He didn't give us a time limit. He just wanted to see what we could do. So, I mean, you definitely don't sprint outright first. So we get there. I'm, I'm keeping my pace. And Z's keeping up with me. Z hates long distance. He's a short distance guy. Like He can run sprints all day, but he hates long distance. And he's telling me this while we're running. I don't know why he's talking while we're trying to run. He talking every... Hey, bro, I like this. Bro, I promise you, bro, I can't do this. He's like, hey, bro, I'm about to fall to the back. <laughs> and then I keep going, and all I see is my man slowly fade to the back, bro, into the darkness. And I'm like, well, let me start passing people. Before I know it, I'm in the front. And I'm running, and it's just, now it's really dark. There is no lights at all. We ran out of all the lights. There's no lights at all. And then this is when I was like, boo, I can't. And I wanted to, like, just turn around. But I was like, nah, I got to keep going. Got to keep going. Got to push through. So I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Then I see some lights. I finally see light, and it's the assistant coach's car. So I, I kind of speed up a little bit. I kind of sprint because I'm trying to get to the car. I get there, and he was like, good job. Turn around. So I turn around. I'm running past. And that's a little easier to run back because you're running towards the lights now. You're not running. The lights aren't behind you. You're running towards the lights. So I'm going there, seeing just people just looking at me, just giving me the meanest of mugs just because I'm way ahead and I'm a freshman. I know I'm a freshman. I'm a walk on. So they're thinking I'm try hard. No, I'm just really good at long distance. So I go back, run the coach around, go back to the assistant coach's car, and I'm running back. And then I notice one of the seniors have caught up to me. Who he reminds me of? If y'all ever watch Coach Carter Cruz, that's that's who he reminds me of. He acts like him and everything, plays like him too. But Cruz, but I'm gonna call him, I'm gonna call him Cruz. So Cruz comes, he runs past me, finishes first. I oh, mean, he's a senior, he's trying to show leadership. Uh, he couldn't let me beat him. I wasn't worried about that. And he came up to me, he was like, he's like, I see you running out there, freshman. He was like, You do know we ran like six miles though. And I was like, nah, I ain't noticed that. He said, yeah, but I count. He said, I use my Apple Watch, bro. He said, we ran about six miles. He said, that wasn't five miles. He ran an extra mile. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, I didn't care about that. I was just, I was, I was just happy to be done. And then every time someone comes in, Cruz is like, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Hey, you know we ran six miles, right? You know we ran six miles. Hey, bro, you know we ran six miles. Bro, 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 you know we ran six miles. And the girl that says, it was like, I don't give up. No. You don't want to get into it. It's the first day. So Cruz left it alone. So remember that. Finally, everyone finishes. He was like, all right, y'all, into the gym. Now, if you remember from earlier in my story, I did not bring running shoes because I didn't think we were going to be outside. I brought basketball shoes. I ruined my basketball shoes. They are done. Dunzo. Everyone else was in their basketball shoes as well. They weren't in no running shoes. Those were messed up. So everybody's like, inside? I'm like, maybe we're just breaking it down in there. He has something to tell us. Daddy, whoa. I said, Daddy, whoa. What was I wrong? You get in there, line up against the baseline. I'm like, please let this be a speech. Please let this be a speech. Please let this be a speech. And my man says, gonna run 16s. Now I'm familiar with 16s from high school, but we run them on the side because the side of the court is shorter. This man's 16s, 8s and 16s, we're going full court, which is a little different. You know, it's one, two, three, four. It's a little different. It's a little harder. I mean, we played no games with us. Y'all, when I tell y'all, we ran. And we ran. We ran to the point where I was late for my first class, my 8 o'clock class. And if y'all remember, I told y'all, my condition to start at 5 a.m. And we ran till 8, 10. If you just take out an hour for the five miles, y'all, we spent two extra hours running. Just 8s and 16s, 8s and 16s. They wanted everyone to finish in time. And everyone couldn't. It was just rough, bro. It was rough. I think I threw up that day. That's tough. Yeah, I threw up that day. I threw up. That was too much running. And finally, he just he realized what time it is. So he was like, we're going to finish this, y'all. But he said, we're meeting tomorrow morning 
in the gym, and y'all gonna get my y'all gonna finish eight in the sixteen. We like Lord have mercy, it's over with, bro. This man not playing with us. We do a little breakdown, and then as me and Z are leaving out, I look at Z, he look at me, and I'm like, bro, I'm about to quit. <laughs>